In the war to save our planet's future, the battleground is China, the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases, a country fighting a frightening number of environmental battles. It's up against toxic rivers, polluted air, extreme weather events, melting glaciers, encroaching deserts, and a massive and growing population driving breakneck economic growth and runaway emissions. Climate change isn't a threat to China. It has already struck. But China is striking back with innovative solutions other countries can barely dream of. China's really pushing the envelope in every way. How fast we can build it, how much we can build, how clean it can be, how efficient it can be. They're really coming up with radically new technologies, just omnibus in every single way they're going after the whole intro. What's happening in China today is changing the global balance of power and potentially averting environmental disaster. This is the story of how one of the world's biggest polluters could become its greatest savior. Today, all across China, cutting-edge technologies are fighting back against the forces of environmental doom. Turbines harvest electricity from the wind. Algae turns black coal green. Grapes hold back the desert. China's ancient Silk Road is now lined with wind turbines as far as the eye can see. We meet the many new pioneers across China who are stepping up with new innovations, new ideas that crash through conventional thinking, reach across borders, and break through boundaries. We should not show the world how powerful we are in terms of big dams, in terms of big buildings. The Chinese can be respected if they can make life more green. We travel to the most remote reaches of China, up wind turbines, down coal mines, across vast deserts, and into the largest cities on the planet in a quest for answers. We're seeing Chongqing as a laboratory of innovation and manufacturing of clean energy and clean technologies. By the time we have finished, the next generation will be enjoying a clean environment and frequent blue skies. My hope for the future is that everybody in China can live in a land of clean air and clean water. It's a big challenge. I think China can make it. After decades of environmental disaster, China is locked in a life and death struggle with climate change and is reaching out to the United States and other allies to join the fight. I don't think the world can be saved without China. We are really twinned, I think, that China is enmeshed in the rest of the world in a completely integral way. It's a mind-blowing, game-changing drive to push forward the frontiers of energy science and green living. And it might just be deciding the fate of humanity. If China succeeds, others will follow. If China fails, the impact could be fatal to us all. This is the story of a green China rising.